Welcome to the Discover Montcalm podcast, where we're going to take a look at the communities, the businesses, the attractions, and the people that make up Montcalm County. Here is your podcast host, Dwayne Weed. Hello, my name is Dwayne, and I'm the host and producer of the Discover Montcalm podcast, where we're taking a look at the people behind the signs. We're coming into the communities, and we're looking at the people, the businesses, the attractions, and what makes up this wonderful county. Today, I'm at 129 East Edgerton Street in Howard City with Gene of the Pizza Cafe. Gene, thank you for letting me come in and tell your story. Yes, thank you for coming. I'm going to jump right into getting to know you a little bit better. In your life, who has influenced you the most and why? Um, my dad. And why? Because he was the type that was good to everybody, no matter who you were. And you picked up on that. Yes. Uh, and your dad passed away when you were young. 29. You were 29. So that's that's always tough. To stay on that same track, besides a family member, who else in your life has been very influential to you and why? I actually do take a little bit from everybody. You know what I mean? I, I really um, I really do. Customers that come in here, the owners that work here. Okay. You know what I mean? I, 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 I do. It Sometimes it's hard to put. It is because there is quite a few that I, you know, look up to. Them You're about. kind of a mulligan stew of people that have influenced Yes. You. That, that yes. I guess that would be a good way that to do that. That is what I'm saying, yes. While we're on a little bit of your history, where did, where were you born and where did you grow up? I was born in Port Huron, and I grew up in Holland City. I've been here my whole life. So you have a lot of history oh. in that in Howard yeah. City. When and I take it you graduated from Tri-Cone. from Tri County as well. We won't talk about the year. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I I told Andrea the same thing. We won't talk about the year, but we'll just say. Hey, um, when you were young, growing up in Howard City, what was it like? Main Street was like where you hung out at, you know what I mean? Right. Everything was on Main Street. It was, wasn't was down 82, right. you know what I mean? It was, it was here. And there was quite a few more businesses yeah. here. You know, all the buildings, from what I understand, all the buildings were full. Yes. Uh, and... Probably back in that time, most of the communities around here probably had a more of a vibrant downtown atmosphere to yeah. them. So as as a younger person uh, coming downtown, what were some of the businesses that you would come into or that you and your friends would hang out at? Well, Ed's Restaurant was down here. Because I know Matson's was down here, but Matson's being, being a kid. Right here. Oh, it was right here. So, Matson's was in here. And the building next to us, I believe. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Then it was Ed's. And so there's been some transitions going on. Right. You know, as you said, before it started pushing out toward the expressway. Right. Most, most towns, once the expressway came in, right. There That's was that. Here, yes. and, and now things are pretty getting back to being yes. pretty vibrant here yeah. in the downtown area. Yes. So, you know. You used to come down. What was the atmosphere like um, amongst the businesses that were here? You know, did you have a lot of community events at that time? You know, what do you remember? You knew everybody. I mean, okay. no matter where you went into, you knew everybody. That typical you know, small town. You, like, rode your bike all over town. You know what I mean? I do. Like, I do. Not like now. Now I, mean, I grew up in, at the park. Yep, I grew up up in Morley, and I uh, my bike. I yes. was all over it. When I once I learned how to ride, my mom said I could go past the block. Yeah, we were going. Yep, we were always hanging out. Be there by eight o'clock. Yep, when the street lights <laughs> that, came on, that yes. that was our cue to be home. Yeah, um, the downtown was pretty vibrant, mm-hmm. um, and you graduated from Tri County High School. What was it that you did right after graduation? What what career path were you on at that point? What was what was your life like, your first few jobs type of thing? Actually, uh, like it seemed like all the women in my family worked at Wolverine. Okay. So as soon as I got out of school, I did 
woodwork gold mine, and I realized factory factory was not for me. <laughs> you know, what I mean, I and actually, I pretty much done restaurants since. You know, what I mean, I've managed a few restaurants. Uh, yeah, I've done pizza for probably thirty five years. Okay, Long so time. you're you you you've got the pizza in your blood, yeah. so to speak. You know, it it, it yeah. it's part of what makes right. up what you're doing. Um, so at that point and then started a family here. Yeah. 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 I got married. And did I you actually, uh, worked at the pizza place with my husband. He was, he delivered. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. So no, before we were married, I think. Did you meet him here or was um, he somebody you no, knew from school? I met him through a cousin. But yeah. Okay. Okay. I know there's quite a history here that you've had with this pizza place, but before we get into that, I'd like to thank our sponsors that put on the Discover Montcom podcast. We'll be right back. We'd like to thank our sponsors. West Michigan Technology and Design Solutions is your perfect choice for managed IT, website design, website hosting, and consulting services. WMTDS.com, 616-485. 7600. Custom vinyl signs and Busy Bee Embroidery and Gifts is your one-stop shop for embroidery, vinyl, screen printing, and engraving needs. Go to cbsdbusybees.com or call 989-261-7446. And DW Video, your film and videotape specialist. They design websites and business videos that tell and share your story. DWVideo.com 231-250-9624. Now, back to our podcast. Welcome back. We're here at the Pizza Cafe in downtown Howard City, and I'm talking to Gene. When did the Pizza Cafe first start? There's there's some history there that's yes. family related. Yes. Actually, this year it'll be 30 years ago. 30 years ago. This year. Um, I'm actually thinking my brother and my dad kind of went together and did it. I'm not exactly sure, <laughs> but my brother ended up, he was the owner. Okay. Um, he had it for probably, I don't know, 10 to 12 years. So. Okay. Yep. Um, I worked here then. And then a guy named Doug, uh, Barons from Grant bought it. I would say he had it probably about. 10 to 12 years, mm -hmm. and I worked for him. <laughs> and then Bernie Pepin from Alto, Michigan bought it, and he had it for seven years. And I worked for him. <laughs> and you worked for him. <laughs> yes. And then you now I own it. Now, yes. it. So what started with your brother mm -hmm. and your dad, mm -hmm. you've been all the way through all of it. Yep. And then was it 2022? or 2023 that you... Um, I took it over December 1st. Of 2022. Yes. So this is relatively new and... But yet it's not. <laughs> I understand that. I mean, for you, it's right. like, okay, now I've got a different hat I'm wearing, um, but you probably have helped manage it over the I've time. I've actually managed it the whole time uh, Bernie had it. Sure. Um, yeah, so I did pretty much everything but the paperwork and pay the bills. <laughs> okay. So. But an interesting twist, because, and I understand what it's like when you move away from a name that has been established for so many years. Mm -hmm. Something that a lot of people don't know is that even I, you know, even on your Facebook and everything, right. It's referred to the Pizza Cafe, and unfortunately, it'll probably be the Pizza Cafe, and that's great because people remember it. Mm -hmm. But what is the official name now that you own it? Uh, Jean's Pizza Cafe. So you took it over, and Bernie yes. kind of suggested that maybe you change it so that it was right. in, in that. Yep. So now, officially, on the paperwork, it's Jean's Pizza Cafe. Yes. But... For the general public and those that it's have been coming cafe. here, and it probably will be. Yep. <laughs> you can put jeans on the front and everybody's still going to call it. Pizza Cafe. Which yeah. is 
probably fine. Yes. In, in, I mean, yes. as long as they come in, as yeah. long as they come in and, right. and, and, and they do it. Um, so now you own it. Because you've been here for so long, and now that you're an owner, when that changed in December, did it seem different? Or did it just seem like another day? Or all of a sudden, oh my goodness, now I'm the one in charge of paying the bills. It seemed the same, but you're right. I'm the one in charge of paying the bills. <laughs> yes. Things are, I look at things a little different, yeah. And, and with that, I guess the nice thing about it is that the people that were working with the old owner you probably kept some of them. Oh yeah, they're all. You know, it's all the same crew. So you know, there was that establishment. Mm -hmm. You know that that you that you put together. So tell me, we were talking ahead of time, and you basically said you do pizza. Yeah. You know that that's in your blood. That yeah. that that's what you've been doing. But what are some of the other menu items that somebody can pick up here at the Pizza Cafe? Uh, we do lasagna, spaghetti. Chicken Alfredo, wings, um, subs. I actually just started rib night on Wednesday nights. Okay. And wet burrito nights on Thursdays. So the wet burrito night's going right in line with your music. Yes, that's, yes. So, and now that I just said that, you have been hosting, I think Bernie hosted it, and there's been music yeah. here for quite a while, but, um, Bernie, did he start the the music? The, the, he the... started the uh, um, open mic night. Okay. And the music too, but actually, years ago we did music in here too. We've okay. done music over the years. But also, Howard City's turning into more of a music. You know, there's more and more things happening yes. around music. And your dad was also in a band. When he was younger, you said Joker's Four? The Joker's Four band. And he was the drummer. He was the drummer. Okay, so I, I, can, I can relate to that. Uh -huh. I can relate to that. Um, so now that you've got music on, on, on Thursday nights, during the winter, it's in here. But in the summer, you bring it out to the street. Yes. Um, was that your idea? Um, taking it out to the street? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I did come up with that idea. And we've done it over the years, but I am the one that came up with that idea to do it on the street. And the whole idea behind that was to um, just kind of open it up. And it also lets other businesses get involved yeah. with this as well, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which is kind of nice. They, they, they block off the, the block here. I know your business does a lot of uh, take out in that to the street. I see your waitresses yep. you know, running back and forth, uh, your, your kitchen, but I also know the forager get some things that people take and now Andrea is across the street. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're, you're kind of making it a downtown yes. event. Has there ever been anything that you've said, boy, if I own this place, I'd, I'd like to do this. Other than you said ribs and burritos. Um, do you have anything up your sleeve that you might be thinking about in the future that you could discuss with us here? That you're like, I'd like to do this. Hmm, I got a few things. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about opening up, I'm going to open up during the day to be open for lunch. Um, I actually do have a catering business too. And so I'm gonna bring some of my catering into here too. You know, like the meals, like the ribs and the- Sure. Oh, why not? You've got right. You've got the kitchen right here. Right. So you know, and I ask Andrea this question, and I'll ask you this: Do you ever have any time for yourself? It, you take a little bit of time. You do. You take a little <laughs> bit of time. You know, I, I I know that as an entrepreneur, we tend to sometimes get wrapped up in our business, and if you, know, you ask a realtor, I do. I. Uh, get wrapped up in my business, but well, I think I take them. And I'll, and I'll make this because we're doing this on a Monday because you're closed on Mondays. Yeah. You know, the only way that I could tie her down to this interview was to say, hey, there's no way I'm gonna do it when you're busy. Plus, I don't wanna set the cameras up here. And I've been in here and watched you. There's no way I could get two or three sentences out of you <laughs> while you're, you know, because it's it's making the pizzas, it's making whatever is is, is on, uh, tap for somebody's order. Back in 1993, you started here 
um, working when your brother and your dad mm -hmm. owned it. And you've actually been here and you've seen a lot of people work here, come here, they, they have a job for a while and then, you know, and I would imagine that most of those people are probably younger and using this as maybe their first job. Yes. So over the years, you probably have shaped and helped people. Tell me about your crew today. Tell me about that portion of who makes up the people, your waitresses, your cooks, and that kind of stuff. Talk about the people. We get a lot of kids, and they probably start 15, 16 years old here. Mm -hmm. And they'll stay till they go to college. It's almost like your kid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've had some where it's like they go to leave. It's it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. It's uh, and they learn. I mean, when they come here, they might even not even know how to do dishes. You know what I mean? I get it. I mean, yeah. They well, you're giving them responsibility. Yes. You're, you're teaching them dependability because they need to show up on time and they need to do a job when yep. they're here. And you're a mentor. You know, you're a boss, but you end up probably being a mentor to some, some people. And whether you like that title or not, I guess that's what it is. So the fact that you've got these young people that you're, you're training and, you know, I remember last year coming up to the music and I recognize a couple of the faces that, of the young people that are still here. Yeah. You know, so they must like it. Yeah. Well, they usually, we, they usually stay three years or so, you know, through school. Then when they go to college, it's when they. Well, there's that part where you've got to let the bird fly. Now I know. you got to let the bird fly. I know. So, Gene, thank you for letting me come in and tell your story. But before I go, uh, how can somebody get in touch with you? Um, they can uh, check out our specials and stuff on Facebook. Um, Your phone number? 937-6477. Uh, and the address? 129 East Edgerton. Howard Downtown City. Howard City? Yes. Downtown Howard City. And we do have a uh, website coming soon. Okay. So just check the Facebook page. As soon as that's out, you'll be able yes. to post that there. Yes. And, you know, so that's all of the contact information. I know that there's a chamber that has just started up here. Yes. And have you joined that? Yes. yes. You've joined the Howard City Area Chamber. Yes. So as we build that website, we're going to get that done for them. Um, there'll be links to your stuff as well. But right now, I'll tell you what, just type in Pizza Cafe Howard City. You can catch the Discover Montcom podcast at discovermontcompodcast.com. You can catch us on Google podcast, iTunes, as well as Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Discover Montcom Podcast. Thanks again, Gene, for letting me come in. Remember to buy and shop locally. Connect and subscribe to Discover Montcom Podcast at discovermontcompodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Discover Montcom Podcast. To be featured in an upcoming show, contact Dwayne at 231-250-9624. Remember to subscribe at discovermontcompodcast.com.